Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to share probably the best way to run Home Assistant and in this particular case, natively in Windows 10, which is just great. Imagine just the way that you can download something, run and you have Home Assistant working. Beautiful. First of all, a great shout out to Alex IT. I will leave a link down below uh, for the developer. So a huge, huge thumbs up for the great work. There's only one thing uh, or a small limitation that I'm not really sure. And you will decide if it's limitation enough for you or not to be used. And uh, we will see that in just a few moments. Now on the screen, you can see already that I've got here Grafana working and this is something that on the next following days I will show you guys especially for those of you that are using Shelly AM which is a way for those that don't know to measure the power consumption of our house and at the same time power production if we have solar PV and although it has a great software and it is a relatively cheap piece of hardware it misses one thing in my opinion which I shared in the past which is the graphics and with Grafana and Home Assistant we can do a beautiful things such as this one so that we can analyze our consumption and our production better than without the graphics now if you don't have production just for consumption it's also great but this will be for another video just wanted to leave this teaser right over here now let's go for the installation and once again Alex if you come by just a huge huge thumbs up right over there you did a great work I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out download and try it for yourself and let's go for it so the only thing that we need to do and is as you can see home assistant windows portable you can basically just get that folder put it inside a hard drive an external hard drive take it to anywhere any computer just plug it in i haven't tried it yet but plug it in run it and bam it's working right over there and of course we can also uh, just get the config folder and put it on a linux machine or in a raspberry pi as we have seen here on the channel so we can do everything right over there we can just put it from one machine to another and so on and so forth install just do this how to download unpack and run and basically this is it sometimes we read things like this but then we have a lot of stuff to do but no i've already downloaded uh, once again i will leave a link down below for you guys and what i have to do right now is to extract to a folder which will be right over here it will take a few uh, moments basically one minute more or less but here we are with the folder now what I need to do open the folder and we've got everything right over here the file that we need to run is this one right over here as so just double click and it will start to do its thing by the way there's also a update right over here I haven't tested but with the almost almost isn't closed we just need to press it and it will update the home assistant version which is just awesome now it already started to do its thing and usually i record the video and then i explain so that we can shorten the time but in this particular case i'll do everything with you guys right over here actually i can talk to the webcam which i'm using right over here not a great quality but nonetheless i can while you see the screen basically what we are seeing right over here is the back end of home assistant running on Windows no virtualization no anything whatsoever everything that I need to uh, use is this folder right over here and it's already installed BAM there we go as you can see we are ready to use home assistant right now so I'm just gonna create and for those of you that have used home assistant you know the process um, user and it's in Portuguese sorry about that just create a password right over here and Bam, bam bam and there we go just create an account which is what it says right over here and there we go next and this is this is the quickest way that i found so far to install a home assistant server and it's just awesome okay and we are in so just finish up it already started to discover devices on my network i've got some shelly devices as you can see right over here so just finish the installation and there we go we've got everything well almost everything I'll, I'll show you something that might be the only limitation that we have now uh, for those of you that are seeing this ip 
uh, we can use it as any regular home assistant installation if i go to my machine because it's running on this windows machine if i go to properties i can check out my ip address of this particular laptop which is um, 110 192 68 110 so if i come right over here and if i put that address uh, which is 110 i already used to record my Portuguese video and there we go home assistant just log in with the user that i just created and honestly this is the best way at least in my opinion if we don't need anything from the supervisor tab this is the best and quickest way to create a home assistant environment that we can test anything because if i just go to this folder right over here um, and delete the folder for example i can create another one and i've got a new server right over there i, I actually believe that it's there is an option which is the there is an option somewhere right over i don't know where I think it's this one right over here, the reset option, which I can reset the server and get everything to scratch. So this is just awesome. Now, things that I would like to share with you guys, beautiful. It has Axe installed. It has a lot of things installed, by the way. We can see right over here. And as you could see, it already detected some of my devices. If I go to notifications, I've got some devices right over here. And uh, Shelly, for example, I know that 128 is my uh, Shelly EM. So I'm going to configure this one so that we can give an example right over here. Okay, leave it like that. If I go to my main panel, I can just leave this as it is. And if we customize the panel, once again, sorry that it's in Portuguese, but uh, if you know the interface, basically you will be able to understand. So let's just put something here. Um, Let's say this one right over here and let's use Shelly AM Power 1 and yeah, there we go. And I can put the name optional uh, consumption, for example, consumption and we can put minimum zero and maximum, let's say 6,000, actually 6,900 in my case. And if we define gravity, we can just say green zero, yellow up from 1000 and then red from 3000. But we have seen this on other videos that we have made in the past. So let's just save and there we go. We have this right over here. And of course, the next step would be to implement Grafana, which we will do. But um, here we go. So let's close this one right over here. So Axe is here. The only thing that is not, it's the supervisor. As you can see, if I go to other server, this is other server, I've got the supervisor right over here. And this is great. It gives me a lot of options. So in your case, if you need the supervisor, then you need another way of installing. If not, then you can just go this way and it's just, just awesome. And guys, basically this is it. I do believe that this, if it had the supervisor option, I'm not really sure what's required to achieve that. I'm sure that if Alex could do it, he would. So Alex, if there's any chance and if you come by, a huge thumbs up to you. And if there's any chance to include the supervisor tab right over there, would be great. I do believe that you didn't because there are a lot of difficulties that we don't know. But basically, if it had, I do believe that this would be my... It actually is my favorite method of installation in terms of Home Assistant, but it misses that supervisor right over there. Once again, if you just want something to use Shelly M or any other device integration and you will not mess with add-ons and so on and so forth, then you will be just fine and you can test it and use it and it's just beautiful. But if you need a supervisor, then you will still need to be using virtualization or something like that, which we have been using. And if you search for the channel, I'll try to leave a link right over here, if I don't forget, with some videos that we have made in the past, how to install on Raspberry Pi, on Windows 10, virtualization, so on and so forth. And that being said, a huge, huge thumbs up to Alex, a huge thumbs up to you. If the video was helpful in some way, don't forget to leave a link, not a link, a thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.